So in this uh, video, I'm going to talk about how to use animation from the uh, content library and use the Unreal Live link and put it directly into Unreal. So the animations that were used uh, right now are from the uh, Iconic Hero Motions Magical Moves Pack and the Pistol Stunt Pack. So uh, I'm just going to show you these right now. So there's tons and tons in here to use. These are mo-capped animations, so they're great to use. Uh, so the first step of this is just to open the Unreal Live Link plugin. And then I'm going to make sure that I uh, deselect the other cameras so I only have the camera I want that's my animated camera. I deselect all the lights and everything. I don't need those right now. Um, in Unreal, I'm going to set up the iClone origin. So just uh, using the iClone Live Link drop down. You can put this anywhere. This is where the character is going to spawn once you send it into Unreal. All right, so now I'm going to transfer the files. Uh, it takes a little bit of time, so I'm just going to skip past this. All right, so you can see everything's loading. It's sending all the textures in. You can change the different sizes of textures you want to actually send to Unreal. Uh, I believe right now I'm sending 2K textures. Um, but you can send the full 4Ks if you want by changing your settings inside iClone. Just a little bit longer. All right, so now that it's done, she's popped into the iClone origin. You can see the camera zero and the avatar 111. So naming is really important here. Uh, you can replace, um, as long as the avatar is naming the same, everything's named the same, you can replace it. So I'm just going to uh, build the shader, uh, high quality shaders, by clicking the avatar and then uh, running the CC setup. So I'll let that process. So it's just going to take all these uh, textures and materials and pop make it a little more organized and set up the shaders properly for us automatically, which is nice because it saves us a lot of time. <laughs> All right, so now that's done, you can see it's all organized and neat. Um, the next thing we're going to want to do is set up the live link source. You can see there's some transfer errors here, like the hair looks too bright and such. So here I'm going in iClone, I'm going over to link. Um, and so here I'm setting up the source, so I'm setting up the port. Uh, and then I'm just going to activate the link and make sure that I turn off everything I don't want to actually live link. So the lights I didn't transfer, I'm going to turn the camera zero on and make sure that the character is also uh, active. Because this is what's going to tell Unreal what we're actually live linking. So now it's there, uh, now it's linked, and the character is gone. <laughs> So that's because uh, now she's moved into the proper position from the animation. Sweet, so there she is. So you can see, uh, yeah, the hair has some problems. We also had a transfer issue with one of the textures on the boots for some strange reason. So I'll go through uh, how to fix some of these settings to adjust uh, to make it look a lot better. So here I'm just trying to switch an iClone to my camera zero so it matches. All right, so you can see now we have everything lined up. So I'm going to play the animation and it should work perfectly. Um, but obviously our, our shaders are not working super great. So let's talk about how I fix some of these. So in here, this is the uh, ORM map for the, uh, sh the bottom shin shoe part. Um, and the things that are wrong with this one actually is just that it came in at a normal, type, uh, normal map compression uh, set. So we need to change it to default. And then uh, it also came in at um, the texture group came in as world normal map and we need it to be just world. It's not a normal map, so we don't want it to display as one, and then just save the texture out, and that fixed my problem. 
think it was just a very strange bug for this specific character, um, but that's okay. Um, and then for the hair, uh, I just wanted to change the base color to something darker and more saturated, and this did match something closer to what we had in iClone. So I'm just copying the sRGB value and pasting it into the braids as well, since they're two separate materials. We need to transfer both the exact same colors. All right, so now we have something that's a lot closer for this character, for, the, or for this animation. So the next one, I'm going to also just import, or. Uh, transfer the files and live link. So this uh, animation is the dual gun muzzle down catwalk from the pistol stunt pack. Um, so you can see it playing an iClone, but it's not linked yet in Unreal. So I'm just going to the Unreal live link and I'm going to also transfer uh, the character and the camera. So now uh, we can rebuild the shaders for this character. The reason why I have to transfer it again is because uh, it's named different in this file. So we're just transferring again and we're rebuilding the shaders again. And then I'll set up the live link again. Um, and you can see the animation has just popped right in there. And now I can move the iClone origin wherever I want uh, to place her maybe just in some more direct sunlight. So uh, I've applied the exact same changes uh, as the last animation to this one. One thing I wanted to also say is that we can also adjust the eye colors too. So I noticed they're a bit dark, so I'm going to actually bring the brightness of the sclera up and also the color of the iris so that we get some more something that's more similar to what we have in iClone. So I'll just apply that to both the eyes. So both are two separate materials, so just have to remember the numbers and copy and paste them into the other material. All right, and then the other thing I did was I adjusted the saturation for the skin a little bit so I could get a little bit more uh, tan look to it. It wasn't so pasty. All right, so now we can play our live link animation and you can see it's now transferred perfectly. So in order to get the actual um, flicking of the hair and all the simulation physics and everything like that, you'd have to set up a sequencer and because um, it only works when it's in the actual uh, play mode. So to solve that problem, you just use the sequencer and you make your animated uh, clip with the sequencer to activate the physics. All right, so this is um, the Mage spell cast from the Magical Moves pack. Um, and I'm going to transfer the file again. Right, so now I do have to reset up my uh, live link source because my Unreal crashed earlier. Uh, click the link activated button. Um, 
and then pile it from the camera, and I can now play back the animation live linked. Um, I'm also going to make one final adjustment uh, to adjust the exposure and the post-processing volume. Um, this is going to give me a more accurate lighting to what I have in iClone. And that's, the, that's the whole process. It's really, really quite simple. And on a final note, I just wanted to show you the final renders from Alright, so that's about it. Thanks for uh, tuning in and watching these videos.